All right, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Daniel Coppinger, and welcome to our brief webinar on easily signing and sealing PDF documents. Uh, so before we begin, I just want to run through a quick couple of slides here. So I'm just going to pull up my PowerPoint. Okay, and for those of you who haven't worked with us before, we are Zentech Consultants, and we are a premier uh, Bluebeam sales partner. We're here to provide uh, technical support, customization, training, whatever you might need within Bluebeam and all of its related products. Uh, we're also a Microsoft Cloud Solutions provider, and we work with most CAD systems and really anything in the AEC and manufacturing space, we provide technical support. So if you need any of that, please feel free to reach out to us. Okay, and what we're gonna talk about today is easily signing and sealing PDF documents, um, doing those both individually and in a batch format within Bluebeam Review. Now, uh, a big issue that we run into in the design world is that we have to sign and seal documents, right? And there are a couple of ways of doing that. Uh, first, in the traditional way, uh, we end up printing out our drawings, right? And we're signing them by hand. And the problem with that is that we could have 150 different sheets and you spend all this time signing and then you have to hand them back over to your team to scan back into the system in order to print them out again with the signatures so so that you can send them off and when you go through that process there is a is a pretty distinct loss of resolution on your drawings right you end up with thicker lines and you tend to lose a good amount of detail in terms of uh, line weight and structure it, not only that it comes down to your time right so in order to sit down and sign and seal you know 150 200 sheets it could take you an hour, it could take you two hours, right? So it's it's much easier to be able to go in and actually have your documents signed electronically using the tools within Bluebeam. And when you think about the scope of your job or your project, whatever you're working on, the amount of times that you have to sign and resubmit for every re revision, every update, uh, every change, you could end up spending you know, 20, 30, 40 hours just signing documents on a job, so the time really adds up and you can avoid wasting all that time just by doing the process electronically on Bluebeam instead. So that's what we're gonna go over today. Okay. All right, so it is demo time. I'm just gonna pull up a Bluebeam review. All right, great. Now, review has uh, digital signatures built into it. They're called digital IDs. And there are two things that you can do with the digital IDs. Uh, the first is you can sign a document for verification purposes. Uh, to say like, hey, I looked at this, I reviewed it, I approved it, it's good to go. And you have another one uh, for certification, which actually allows you to go in and ready a document uh, to share with other people for final design or build, whatever it is, um, you can share those documents electronically knowing that no modifications are possible, right? It, you can actually lock the document down and restrict any other changes. Um, so it gives you full control over the document. So that's the, the kind of the difference between uh, signing and certifying a document. And we're actually, we're going to go through both of those today right now. So. So what I'm gonna do is if you take a look at this first floor plan that I he have here, I'm going to just uh, sign it with a digital signature using a digital ID. So up here, if you go to the tools dropdown and I'm gonna bring up the signature and click sign document. And here you'll notice I have a different crosshair. So I'm just going to create a square area where I'm gonna create my digital signature, okay? And you'll notice here I have a pop-up with my digital ID already populated. If you haven't created one already, it will actually pop up with a new digital ID where you can create your own digital ID. You can have your name, your organization, uh, the unit that you're in, provide all this information that you want on your signature, your email address, whatever region you're in. And then you can see down here where it's saving the digital ID 
and then asking you to create a password. So digital IDs are password protected, meaning that in order to verify with your personal signature, you actually have to put in a password to, to not only sign, but to revalidate any changes on any documentation. So that's how you would go about creating a digital ID in Bluebeam. I will have one already created here, so I'm gonna use my name. Just gonna punch in my password really quickly and log in. And you can see how I have everything preloaded here. And you have two signature types, the digital signature and the certification. We're gonna do a signature for now. And you have all these options, right? You have a reason for why you're signing, right? We have a drop down. I'm the author of this document. I reviewed it. I'm approving. I attest to the accuracy. All these great, you know, preloaded drop downs. And you can actually type in what you, whatever you want here. It's a blank space as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and approve this document. My location, maybe in New Jersey. I can, I'll leave contact info blank. And you can also go in here and edit the appearance of your signature. So if I click the edit here, now notice I just have name here. I have my name, Daniel Coppinger, but you can actually change the graphic. If you have uh, a JPEG, a picture of your John Hancock, your signature, you can actually load it into here. So not only will you have the digital verification signature, but you can have your actual signature as part of it, which is really cool. So you would just upload that JPEG in here and it will show up right in this area where I have the name. And then we can change the text information that we have here, contact info date, the name, the location, the alignment where we want it, uh, if we want the logo in the background, uh, labels, whatever it is, we can change it here. Okay, I'm just gonna leave everything default for now. All right, and then, um, so I wanna go ahead and sign it in that area. So I'm gonna hit okay. And then this will ask you to create a, a save a file because you're signing the original document. So we wanna create a new version, a revision. So I'm just gonna change this to revision one. And we'll save it in here. Okay, awesome. And now you can see that I have right here my digital signature on this PDF. Now, the cool thing about this is that within Bluebeam, we have a tab over on the left-hand side that shows you the signatures. And you can see that my signature is valid, uh, the time that I have signed it, uh, the reason as we put in the prompt there that I'm approving this document and last check. Now I'm the only one who can sign this because it's my signature, my password. Now if someone were to go into this document and say like, hey, make a markup or any changes. So let me make a brief markup here. I'm gonna just create a cloud. All right, maybe I'll, I'll put another line in here, okay. And you can notice over here on this side what happened to the signature validation, right? It turned yellow here. It says signature is not yet verified. That's because someone made changes to the document. So you can determine if someone else had made a change to the document, right? You sent this off to a colleague. They put the cloud in. They made a few notes. They sent it back to you. Now I can say, okay, well, you know, I didn't approve. Even though my signature is here, you can see on the signature side, this digital signature will show you uh, whether or not this has been validated or not. So the cool thing is then if they send back the document, you can just go to your signature, right click on it, validate it again, and now this document is once again approved by you, right? Um, really, really cool stuff. So that is the digital signature. Now we can go over to actually certifying our documents and it's this very very similar process it's slightly different but we'll go down to the tools drop down to our signature and we're going to hit certified document and it's going to be the same thing but as you can see right now under the signature type i'm going to uh, choose document certification instead and there's some preloaded drop downs so you can have uh, no changes allowed to the document uh, fill in forms and digital signatures so you can allow people to actually sign the document and fill in certain areas of the forms if you want. Or we can actually even allow markups after it has been certified if we wanted to check off this. Uh, for now, what I'm gonna do is just select the no changes allowed, okay? And the options are the same as well. It's just I'm approving this document. Uh, maybe I'll change it to uh, the accuracy and the integrity of this document I attest to, 
okay let me just hit okay here and it's the same concept you just save the uh, revision so i'm going to overwrite this one here okay and now you can see well my blue beam is kind of screwy here that i have my certification within this document okay and if you take a look at uh, your markups you'll notice that everything's been grayed out since this document is certified i can no longer do any markups if i were to send this to anyone they can't make any adjustments they can't do anything to it because i certified this document so if it's my if it's the final floor plan if this is what we're going to build off of you can certify the document and then no changes can be allowed to it okay so that is certifying a uh, document now the last thing i want to go over with you guys here is actually the ability to um, batch sign and seal multiple documents at once right because as i made the point earlier sometimes we're dealing with hundreds of pages and we want to be able to get them signed and sealed quickly and efficiently and not waste all the time that we would if we were to print it out and sign it by hand so what we can do here is we can go to the batch drop down and select sign and seal right and you notice this prompt that i have here it allows us to add multiple files and even folders and subfolders at once so i'm going to just show you guys i'm going to select a folder here and let me go into this and yeah, we'll go here I'll select the project folder and boom it brought in all the drawings within that folder and there's there's really no limit to the amount of drawings that you can bring in here and the really cool thing is that you can select the amount of pages so say you know this overall set there's 12 pages but i know that the first five are just index so i want to change the page range to 6 to 12. now it's only going to apply to 6 to 12 here and you can also save and load the configurations so if you have a project directory in which you're keeping all your files uh, you can actually load this configuration and it'll be it'll bring in the same pdfs every single time the specific directory and the changes you made to the pages which is really really cool okay so i'm going to take all these pdfs and just bring them in here okay just take a second here this popped up on my other screen okay so now you can see that I have this uh, basic PDF and on the left hand side I have the option to include digital signatures a date and a seal so I'm going to just select that up here and you can see if I zoom in a bit that I have my digital signature up here right and a seal now the seals are actually preloaded within Bluebeam so you have a bunch of different ones I'm going to use the uh, seal one right here and then it has the same function as creating a digital ID, right? So within the digital signature, I can hit edit and I can choose what information I wanna include in the digital ID, the signature. Um, you know, I'm just gonna get rid of this stuff and kind of just keep my name here. And one important thing to note, and I think I brought this up before, is that, you know, if you did just want to sign off uh, on a piece of paper and scan it in you can again use that jpeg file to come through as your name right now i'm just using a basic text but that's definitely a really great thing to do so let me hit okay here and i just have my name now the great thing is that i can move this seal and my signature anywhere i want within the document right so say i want the signature to kind of be uh, on the upper right hand side you know i can size it make it a little bit smaller Okay, make my name a little bit smaller so that it will fit within the seal here. Okay, great. And that's where I want it signed. Now, what this will do since we're doing a, a batch functionality is you can see this drop down that I have here. This has all the PDFs, right? And I just move that on one of the PDFs. But if I were to change the selection, it actually shows up in the same exact area on every single one of these PDF pages. It doesn't matter which one. 
So it's gonna show up on the right-hand side. And if I were to move this over to the bottom left, or there's another seal here to the bottom right, wherever it is, it will move that on, on every single PDF that we have uh, loaded. And then as well, we also can drop down by page size. Now, within this folder, there's only 42 by 30 inch drawings, but say you brought in a folder that had reports that were eight by 11. It will actually show you the eight by 11 and you can select by the page size and then move your seal to wherever you want on the eight by 11 and it will apply into that area on those eight by 11 drawings and then a different area on the 43 by 30s. So really cool, I'll go ahead and hit okay. Takes a little bit to process, but. Now, if I go ahead and I'm just gonna open these documents, you'll see that my seal is right here on every single one of those. So that is the batch functionality. And, it, and it's great because now you're signing your, your documents within minutes time and not printing out and spending hours and hours of your time, you know, writing by hand and print and scanning back in and printing out. Okay. Um, so that is the um, easily signing and sealing uh, documents within Bluebeam. Um, does anyone have any questions for me? I know we have uh, a chat box within the GoTo. So if you have any questions, please send them out here and I'll be happy to answer. Okay, I got a question from Brenna. Uh, can the seals be moved or modified after printing? Uh, the answer is yes and no. You actually have the option uh, to flatten the seals. So when you place them, so if you do flatten, you are unable to modify and move them after printing. However, you can actually check off another option that uh, says, I believe it, it says allow markup recovery when you flatten. So it'll allow you to unflatten and move um, your seals after you have printed. Okay, and I have another question from David. Uh, I assume you can add your own seals. Yes, um, you can just scan or create them as a stamp within Bluebeam, and then it will actually come in with your default seals when you wanna use them. Okay. All right, uh, so that's all the questions I see here. So I'm just going to, um, let you guys know that if you have any questions or need any training, um, customization, Bluebeam, just reach out to us. Uh, my email is training at zentechconsultants.net and we'll be happy to speak to you. And other than that, appreciate, appreciate you guys' time today and uh, have a good day.